difficulties. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I just want to tell this August gathering that we have Dr. Girish Tyagi with us. Sir is the registrar of the Delhi Medical Council and a standing ovation to him not only for being here but he is the man who is running the DMC for sir say 20 years sir please come on the stage sir. I am too junior a person to introduce sir. I still remember in 1998 when I went for my registration to DMC, uh, it was so smooth that I wrote on a piece of paper and I said, sir, kudos to your team. I think that is the association from where like uh, it has come over to this thing. The quality is still the same. The things have improved and it was because of his experts, uh, his advice and everything that within three days we had the DMC credit arts which normally takes 30 days. And we have, this conference is awarded 13.5 credit arts, maximum is 14. So thanks a lot, sir. And uh, can we proceed for lamp lighting so that uh, since sir is here, sir, kindly come for the lamp lighting, please. May I request Dr. Vidya, Dr. Kavita, ma'am, for the lamp lighting, please. Dr. Pooja, Dr. Sandeep Chopra, Dr. Purnima, madam, Dr. Ranju, please, ma'am. Dr. Vidya, ma'am. Dr. Saurabh Tiwari. Yeah, please, please come. Dr. Pranav. Dr. Atanu, please, sir, for the lamp lighting, please. We, will have, we want to have you there, right. Dr. Umed. Dr. Nalini, the PG from Bikaner, who has come all the way from Bikaner. Please, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, may I request Dr. Girish Tyagi to speak a few words on the ethics. Uh, uh, day in and day out, uh, we are hearing this uh, about the ethical things uh, which a medical practitioner should practice uh, right from the horse's mouth. Like uh, what does, as a medical counsel, uh, what do you advise, sir, this August gathering? A brief a few words on that, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Anil Sharma, for the nice words. Wherever I go for the taking the topic on the ethics or few points which I always said that uh, to reduce the litigation or to prevent the litigation, that only the two things are there, communication and documentation. And uh, we as doctors are very poor in communication as well as in documentation. And third point is communication of documentation and documentation of communication. If we are following these four things, harassment can be there. But conviction in any court 
any medical council, national medical commission, consumer court, etc., conviction will against will not be there. And at Delhi Medical Council, we are receiving around 25 to 30 complaints per month. That means uh, practically one to two complaints per day we are receiving against the doctor for professional misconduct or negligence. And nowadays we have seen that the it is a trend that uh, everybody is against the medical profession. But at Delhi Medical Council, we are very clear in our concept that if we are treating the patient ethically, we will not take action against you. And it, but if there are issues like forgery, manipulation on the records, and and something like that, then of course action will be taken. And uh, for the anesthetist, at least there are only a few times we have taken the action. Not in one of the case, the dosage of multiple drugs are used in inadequate or doses which are no there, then action was taken against that person. And in one of the case, it was a case of the Olean Institute of Medical Sciences. The staff nurse was there who was the pregnant there. Gynecologist, some delay on the part of the gynecologist in t taking the patient to the LSCS. And once she, once she was taken to the OT, in the OT, the, it, the, there are simultaneously two front and back, and the back was not fit for giving the anesthesia. And gynecologist, ultimately the patient expires, and the, when the case comes to the Delhi Medical Council, then gynecologist, because there, it was not fit for anesthesia, giving the anesthesia on that particular table. And it is in the records. But still, gynecologist ne ji, to anesthetist ne ki, go ahead, then I put that. And anesthetist in that particular patient, when the complication occurred, he was not able to put the tube, stomach is full, nurse is saying that the doctor is on the wrong line. And you are giving the patient, so th there are multiple issues, then we are taking action against that gynecologist as well as anesthetist in, in the AIMS case. In one of the case, patient was operated at a nursing home, OT notes was not proper, later on the OT notes was uh, and uh, somehow in the first uh, instance when we asked for the document, the uh, nursing home provided us the records in which the OT notes were different. Then OT notes as well as the anesthesia notes. Then in the f uh, finally then uh, when the case came for uh, deliberation the Delhi Medical Council in which uh, we asked that uh, complaint as well as the doctors, surgeon and anesthetists and all to, for the Delhi Medical Council for the hearing, they submitted uh, different types of documents. So there were two types of documents so, so, uh, that the surgeon also uh, provided us the different documents with the different OT notes as well as the anesthetist. So action was taken against both of them because there was just the discrepancy. If, uh, if we are doing such kind of uh, practice, then of course nobody can uh, save us. In one of the case, anesthetist was having a nursing home. Of course, uh, in a night a patient came, he sees the patient the cardiac case was there. Then after a few days, he gave him a medical certificate for rest. Certifying that patient, such and such patient is suffering from angina, give, us the, give him a rest for 15 days. That patient submitted that document of medical certificate to in the court for exemption of the appearance. And then courts uh, ultimately sent the medical certificate to the medical council to examine that. So, a anesthetist giving a medical certificate, anesthetist of course a medical, uh, any person can give a, issue, give a medical certificate, but a medical certificate given to a patient suffering from angina without uh, referring to that patient to the cardiologist, without mentioning about uh, investigation whether ECG, ECO, etc, etc, at least you should, uh, so no document was there, no record of patient was there to prove that the patient was examined him by him on that particular day on which basis he giving the advice for rest for 15 days. So it is unethical basically we take action against us. So because it is a gathering of anesthetists, nowadays 
सर्जन के पास कोई केस आता है सर्जन की प्रायोरिटी होती है कि केस को कर दो उसको अनस्थर्टिस को कहेगा कि सर पेशेंट तैयार है आपको कर दो बट वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली कि आप क्लियर आप दे रहे हो उसको अल्टीमेटली इन द रिकॉर्ड्स यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल बिफोर क्लियरेंस बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली द लेवलिटी ऑफ योर्स विल बी टू फॉर द फिटनेस यू आर बिकॉज बिकॉज यू आर बींग द क्लियरेंस फॉर सर्जन टू गो अहेड इन वन ऑफ द केस गायनी का केस था नर्सिंग होम में गया वहाँ पर ए सिक्स मंथ्स प्रीवियस रिपोर्ट ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन ऑफ इलेवन वॉज शोन टू द एनास्थेटिस्ट एंड एट दैट टाइम ऑन द डे ऑफ द ऑपरेशन द हीमोग्लोबिन वॉज सिक्स पेशेंट वॉज ऑपरेटेड ऑफ कोर्स दिन नो ब्लड वॉज अरेज एंड anesthetist because you, you can't take the excuse that uh, it was a 6 months uh, old report on which you are giving the clearance to that uh, patient for routine surgery so ultimately as i told you ultimately it will be the documentation part whatever you are documenting so you should be very clear because uh, once you are giving the clearance If the cardiac clearance is required, just uh, ask that patient, uh, nursing home owner or surgeon to have a cardiac clearance and refer on the paper. Write that patient needs needs cardiac clearance because uh, in some of the cases, the surgeons are big shot. And regarding that communication part, I just uh, told about the one case, one ENT doctor. हुज मदर वॉज ऑपरेटेड ही वॉज ही बिलोंग्स टू उत्तराखंड एन टी डॉक्टर हिज मदर वॉज ऑपरेटेड एट अ बिग कॉर्पोरेट हॉस्पिटल इन एन सी टी एरिया ऑफकोर्स दे वेन द कंप्लेंट केम्स टू इट्स अ रूटीन प्रैक्टिस एंड वेन वेन द इन द डिस्प्लिन कमेटी वी कॉल द कंप्लेंट एंड एज वेल एज द डॉक्टर्स एंड इंक्लूडिंग द एम एस ऑफ द नर्सिंग होम्स सो बोथ वर ऑल द पार्टीज वर कॉल्ड In the initial phase, we asked that uh, for the introductory part. I asked, being the convener of this committee, I was uh, to introduce her first. That ENT doctor who introduced himself as I am such and such. उसके बाद उसने जो words use करे, he said कि मैं DMC का शुक्रगुजार हूँ कि आपने मेरे को भगवान के दर्शन करा दिए. मेरे को लगा कि because of pendency of the case, कि दो साल बाद केस का आया, इसको लग रहा हो कि DMC ने क्या बेवकूफ़ बनाया मेरे को इस तरह से करते करते बिकॉज बिकॉज आई आस्क हिम अगेन कि डॉक्टर साहब वाट आर यू टेलिंग प्लीज अगेन ही टोल्ड दैट मैं डीएमसी का विद होल्ड इन हैंड्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीबॉडी मैं डीएमसी का शुक्रगुजार हूँ कि आपने मेरे को भगवान के दर्शन करा दिए देन आई आस्क हिम टू प्लीज एलोबरेट वट यूर थिंग ही सेट कि डॉक्टर साहब जो ये डॉक्टर साहब हैं हु इज़ आ पदमा वार्डी हु हैज़ ऑपरेटेड माई मदर आई एम सींग हिम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो You can imagine कि a doctor complaining against the doctor and he is saying that he is seeing for he is seeing him for the first time. I told him कि हमें भी लगा कि ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता कि I told him he told कि डॉक्टर साहब और ऑस्ट्रोआर्थराइटिस तो मेरा डायग्नोस उत्तराखंड में हो गया था पता था मेरे को कि नी रिप्लेसमेंट तो करना ही है I came to him इज यूनिट सीन इन द ओ पी डी एंड ऑफकोर्स दैट पेशेंट वॉज फिक्स फॉर द सर्जरी when the patient was admitted for that he never came his of course his team was coming then the in the ot i because i was not allowed to enter in the ot so i and not no and the post operative when the complication come then also his team was coming regularly then we asked the doctor who was a padma wardi we asked him what is that he said no sir mai to doctor sahab that padma wardi i am not disclosing the name That Padmavar said, "No, no, no, not sir. I am going regularly to see the patient in the post-operative case." Now, we ask him to show us that you have seen the patient in the post-operative part. Leave aside the pre-operative part. Nowhere in the file it was mentioned. Signature to baat ki baat hogi ki. Nowhere in the file it was mentioned by the case seen by such and such. At least in the case file it should be mentioned that case seen by such and such person. So, so that we can. आइडेंटिफाई चलो सिग्नेचर आपके रेजिडेंट ने कर दिए कंसल्टेंट ने कर दिए बट एट लीस्ट यू सीन सो नोवर इन द फाइल सिग्नेचर वॉज देयर नोवर इन द फाइल इट वॉज मैंशन दैट केस सीन बाई सच एंड सच 
So in our district committee, there were compositions like that. There are six members. One is chairman, of course, uh, then one member of the Delhi Medical Association and one expert which of the particular specialty. And then the three known members were there. One MLA is there, one legal member is there, one eminent public manager. These are the three percent uh, known medical persons. So our legal member, the legal member, he said, Doctor, you prove it here, that you have seen the patient. Because the legal member is there, of course, he said, sir, I have seen it, but it was not good. Then, our MLA said, Doctor, you don't have any signature on any other side. There is no signature on any other side. How can we judge that you have seen it? How can we judge that you have seen it? So, our legal member said, Doctor, you are such a big doctor. Where will they do the signature? Where will they do the signature? Will they do the check book? Or will they do the bill? When will they give their bill? So, these kind of words. So you can see, uh, see the humiliation in front of that uh, who has doctor who has got the Padma Award and in front of MLA, legal member, eminent public man, jo, koi graduation ho ya, you can assume that ki these people are smiling and humiliation on the part of uh, us also because we, we are seeing the, so these kind of, so we have to be very careful in communication as well as documentation, you are all an scientist. Be careful. आज की डेट में every patient is a weird patient. उसको मोटिवेट करके भेजा जाता है. And I am telling in front of you that 70 percent of complaints are because of the doctors only. Because we are because of some reason or the other, there is some doctor behind the complaint. That that I am telling you. Because कि on the going through the complaint. Crux of the complaint, we came to know that it has been filed by the some doctor or input has been provided by the doctor. And because of that, uh, we have seen th that everybody is against us. In one of the case, which was came to Delhi Medical Council in 2008, I am telling you the, just for uh, information, it was a dengue patient, child patient who came for that uh, and we give clearance to that. Uh, we find that there is no negligence and give clearance to that. Complainant went to Medical Council of India and they also give clearance that no medical negligence is found. Then the, because the, there was a, he was an aggressive complaint, he went to Delhi government, Delhi government formed a committee, Delhi government also told that there is no medical negligence. Then again he went to Kejriwal, ki ne, jo Delhi government ke committee banai te, usme to Lal Bahadur Shosti Hospital, chode chode hospital ke doctor apne bhai diye te, usme, they gave in favor of that. Then a, another Broad committee was made under the chairmanship of Principal Secretary Health. So that was a big committee under, under the chairmanship of Principal Secretary Health with the head of the institution of LNJP and uh, one of the members of that was an expert. They also gave him clearance that no negligence. Then he went to the court. Ultimately, court goes in emotion angle, play, karte kara. court asked the police to file an FIR. So, in 2008 was case there, yeah. DMC gave a clearance, Medical Council of India gave a clearance, Delhi government two times gave a clearance to, for that uh, particular case. Now the case is, has been filed, FIR has been filed against that doctor. You can see that, for the, now it is 2022, for the last 14 years or so, he is going to a different place from maybe to Delhi Medical Council or Medical Council or Delhi government, and now he, is, he has approached the High Court for questioning of the FIR. What was the issue in the court? Because in that, because it was an aggressive complainant. After that, repeatedly he went to that particular hospital, going for the pharmacy. The pharmacy has given a bill that my patient had given a drug. In that, there was a drug called Diclofenic. Nowhere in the record, it is mentioned that Diclofenic was given. But he was able to prove the court that Diclofenic was given from the pharmacy. That's why the drug was given. They had to save their own children for the record of forgery and the name of the diclofenic. Now the case is pending in the court that he has gone to the high court for questioning of the high... Nowhere in the record. Nobody can prove that the diclofenic was given. Because it is not in the record. Not even the judge who is maybe biased anymore, that conviction will not be there against the doctor. But, 
या तो अगर डिक्लोफेनिक का था उसने कोर्ट में कहा डिक्लोफेनिक अगर नहीं देगी तो उन्होंने वापस क्यों नहीं करी सो दिस काइंड ऑफ इंसिडेंस आर देयर वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल वी हैव टू बी यूनाइटेड वी 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 सपोर्ट अवर जूनियर्स एंड सीनियर एंड कुलीग्स इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स देन देन ऑल्सो वी आर सेफ एट दिल्ली मेडिकल काउंसिल यू शुड फील दैट इट इज it is your home place you can visit any time if there is any issue my number is anil sharma you can get and any issue of delhi medical council will take care of once again i congratulate tascon for uh, giving me the chance and uh, it is a nice conference academic conference and i am forced to i i have forced my way to talk on the ethical on such uh, nonsense topic but thank you very much sir thank you sir sir please be on the stage uh, may i request dr vivek saluja to present the bouquet please please sir yeah. may I request uh, dr anupam to present the uh, memento to sir sir thank you sir for enlightening us and uh, we know the, as an aesthetic uh, we are more prone to all these medical legal issues thank you sir so we continue with the next session please uh, may i request dr vinit gupta sir and dr shiva kota to the tea will be a running tea with the session right okay so we are taking a 15 minutes break and then we uh, like we are coming back again for the uh, ops and guidance session thank you